estimated half a million sports fans are in town pumping millions of dollars into our local economy. Unfortunately, though, there are scammers who will be looking to take advantage. Yeah, in fact, I spoke to a local expert with a warning for anyone hoping to score some sports memorabilia. I love it because it brings back so many childhood memories for me. Aaron Phillips is a diehard sports fan. Vlad Guerrero here for Toronto. Great player, great lineage with his dad. Aaron loves hunting for memorabilia from his favorite players and teams. If I have that personal connection, yeah. absolutely. But he's careful about who he buys from. You've been burned before on buying? Early on, yes. Now it's only guaranteed stuff that I will buy and I'm comfortable. To make sure he's getting what he pays for, Aaron goes to Power Play Sports Collectibles at the Boulevard Mall. Why do you come here to buy? The best reason is this. I know that when I'm looking for something that has a signature, it's guaranteed that that person signed it. What's not guaranteed is the merchandise you could see at some Vegas pop-up locations during the NFL draft. Definitely, it, there's going to be fakes out there. Power play owner Scott Hosey says beware. He believes scammers will be looking to make big bucks peddling bogus memorabilia to innocent sports fans. You're going to see tons of autographs that are fake. About 75% of the autographs out on the market right now are fake or just not authenticated. So how can you tell the real from the fake? Before purchasing anything, Hosey says make sure it's examined by a third party. Plenty of companies like Beckett Authentication Services, Professional Sports Authenticator, and James Spence Authentication have the expertise and tools to verify merchandise. If something is the real deal, these companies will register the item and include their seal of approval. And there's a serial number. You can go on their website and actually shows what that item is. And this has not only a serial number, but the fancy QR code where you can go online to their website and see that this is actually a Max Crosby autographed helmet. Hosey says you're taking a real chance when buying anything that's not authenticated. Just recently, he had this 49ers photograph examined for a customer. But the authenticator had bad news. He could tell that this Joe Montana and this Jerry Rice were not real, fake. He was not able to authenticate it. The bottom line, Hosey says, protect yourself. Make sure it's authenticated. Don't risk your hard-earned dollars right now. As for Aaron, he says he's definitely done taking chances. So while he's not really looking to turn a profit, he'll make sure his purchases are authenticated before buying. I buy for my own enjoyment. Sure. I'm not buying this stuff to make money. It's not an investment yeah. unless I happen to have a piece that someone wants and I happen to get lucky, but I'm doing this for my own enjoyment. And these counterfeiters are playing off your emotions because they know the fans are really rabid. They want you know, that signature, but Absolutely. they'll buy it without checking. And they're all over online. That's oh, yeah. where you really have to yes. be careful too. Be very careful when you're buying online Absolutely. or any of the, the yeah. you want to get everything checked out for sure. Yeah.